Hi, I've decided to purchase a new domain name and I thought I might as well just record it so that you can see how easy it is to get a donut, sorry, domain name and hosting at the same time. So um, I use justhost.com as you can see it here. And so what you then need to do is click in this box here to see whether the name you want is available. Um, as I've got a couple challenges on the go at the moment, I decided to use um, Challenge Yourself, but that name is already gone, so I'm going to use Challenge Yourself with Michelle James. I wanted my name to still be in there, but I didn't know which way around to use it. So I think that sounds quite good. Challenge yourself with Michelle James. I know it's available because I've searched on another um, site. Okay. So it says, for me, I can add this. To, I've already got an account with Just Host. Um, what I like about Just Host is that you can have hundreds of thousands of domains and they do the hosting for free so all I have to pay for is the actual um, domain name itself because as I said I've already got an account with them so that's why I use them all the time I know there are cheaper options out there but I think if you're going to get the hosting and um, you can buy the domain names I just prefer to keep it all under one umbrella so that I'm just working with one company um, I cannot really advise you on what the other companies charge or how they work, but I'm sticking with what, what's working with me right now. So as you can see, it's going to cost me $14.95. Uh, uh, but because I'm in the UK, um, it will automatically transfer it over to um, sterling, which sometimes I hate because it actually works out cheaper in dollars. But there you go. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase this now. I'm just going to put you on pause while I do that. So you can either pay um, with PayPal or you can use your credit card. So I just remember that I had some money left in one of my PayPal accounts. So I've decided to do it by PayPal. And as you can see, it's $7.95 um, in sterling. Okay, so purchase was successful. Then return to just host. Okay, so it's showing that it's registered now, but I just have to wait for them to do their bit their end. And these are the domains that I already have. And you can see this one's got a question mark. So um, I'm going to give it an hour or so, and then I should be able to use that domain. Now that the um, domain has been activated, so I'm going to set it up now so I can set up my WordPress blog. From your cPanel, you're going to click on the WordPress icon. And you need to install WordPress to your site. So you'll click New Installation. I'm going to look for the domain that I want it under. Just challenge yourself with michellejames.com. And I'm going to create an um, administrator's username. Challenge password. So what I'd advise you to do is to, okay, and then you can bookmark it.
Let's see if it works. Okay, so now it's still showing up as that. But we're in our back office now, okay? The back office of the WordPress. So I'm going to type in the URL and see what it actually looks like. So you'll get an idea. Of what your WordPress blog looks like before you've actually um, done any editing or added anything to it okay okay so there you go so this is what my blog will look like at the moment. There are loads of different themes that you can actually um, upload yourself. Um, this was just the basics of how to get yourself a WordPress blog. So I'm going to go back into the dashboard and so this is where you would then create your posts. So you can click on post here So they've already done hello world. Just gonna do one quickly just to show you what it will look like. Just gonna change this, call it testing. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to update it. And then what we want to do is we want to actually um, publish it. A few posts, let's see what it looks like. So, so I've just done that. Okay, so I've got testing in there, example. So I've just given you that brief overview because um, I don't want you to think that you have to create anything fancy to get started. We just want to get you up and running. So once you've got into the flow of things and you start experimenting, then you can actually um, customize your blog to how you want it. But you know, no excuses as to why you can't start this challenge. I've showed you briefly how to set up your blog and so it's time for you to get cracking.